What if I told you that Excel just got a superpower? Yes, Python. The world's most popular programming language for data analysis is now officially integrated into Excel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Python in Excel to create a stunning interactive dashboard that will amaze your team and completely change how you work with data. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you will be able to combine the best of both worlds. Excel's simplicity and Python's power to build dashboards like never before, and in Excel. Hi everyone, I'm Christian Martinez, Finance Transformation Senior Manager and AI in Finance Professor, and someone that has been using Python and Excel for years to unlock powerful insights in finance. With almost 10 years of experience in leading finance analytics teams worldwide, I know just how game-changing this integration is for professionals like you. Now, in this video, I will not only show you step by step how to use Python in Excel, but also why this is a must have skill for anyone working in finance, analytics, or business today. So stick around, because what am I about to share could save you hours of work while making you the go-to expert in your organization. Now, before we jump into the demo, let's quickly cover the basics. As for today, Python in Excel is available for enterprise and business users running the current channel on Windows, starting with the version 2408. And for the monthly enterprise channel, starting with the version 2408-20216. If you're using family or personal accounts, you can also access it in preview mode on Windows, starting with the version 2405. However, if you are on the semi-annual enterprise channel, Python in Excel is not yet available. But don't worry, Microsoft is rolling this out, so keep an eye for the updates. All right, now let's get hands on. To begin using Python in Excel, here is what you need to do. First, select any cell in Excel. Then go to formulas and select insert Python. This will signal Excel that you are writing Python code in this cell. Now, there's another way that you can just type equal py, open the bracket, and then the little icon of py will appear in the formula bar. So this will mean that Python is enabled and that you're ready to use it. Now, for today's dashboard, we're going to be using a sales and financial data set that contains everything you need to analyze business performance. It has columns like segment, country, product, unit sold, sales price, gross sales, discounts, and more. With this, we will create a dashboard that visualizes profitability trends, top performing products, and much more. So let's start building. I will share with you by the end of this video, this file with all the code. So you could just replace your data set and you will be ready to go. But 
I also want to explain to you exactly what each part of the code does. And also, at the end, I have a bonus on how to use artificial intelligence with these concepts and be able to run Python code even if you do not know everything about Python. Now, the first thing that you need to know for Python in Excel is that we need to have data frames. Now, a data frame is just a two-dimensional data structure that is similar to an Excel table. In order to use Python in Excel, you need to use the formula Excel. Now, for this, you could just do equal py open brackets, and then you go to your data set. So in this case, I will go to my data set in here, and I will select the whole thing. Then to commit code of Python in Excel, you need to do control enter. After that, the cell will start to appear as busy, and then the data frame indicator will appear, showing us that your data is now in a Python data frame. Now, if you want to name that data frame, you only need to put the name before the Excel. For example, table equal, and then the formula that we just did. That's exactly what I did in this cell already. And I named our data, data. Now, this is the first thing that you need to know and understand in order to use Python in Excel, that you can load your data into these data frames. Now, let's use the actual data. Now, I have divided this code for you to easily access it in different sections. But you could also do them in the same one. Now, at first, I have this one for the key indicators of our dashboard. Now, you can go and roll down this cell up or down, depending on how much you want to show and how easy you want to navigate your Python code. At the top of the code, you will be seeing that I am importing libraries into this environment. Now, I will do a separate video on Python libraries available in Excel. But for now, you need to know that you have pandas for handling the data frames and matplotlib and seaborn for visualization. Now, the first part of the code is calculating the key metrics that we're trying to showcase in here, like total sales, total profit, and average margin. And create a simple display for these three KPIs. Now, you can choose to display other different KPIs that are important for your business. And this is the first part of the code. Now, the second part is the sales analysis. In here, I wanted to create this bar graph of sales by country and also of monthly sales. This is how we did it. So as I was mentioning before, we are using the libraries matplotlib and Seaborn. So I'm importing them again in here. Now, you do not need to import every time the libraries, but I just did it so that each individual part of the code works for you independently of the other codes. Now here I'm preparing the data for the map chart, so showing the sales by country, and preparing the data of the months, so sorting the months in the calendar order. And then creating in number one, the sales by country chart, and in number two, the monthly sales bar chart. And at the end, I'm just showing these two different graphs. Now, the first one is one of my favorites. And that is because these type of graphs are very difficult to do 
in Excel or even not available. And the ones that we will be creating are a box plot in here for profit distribution by product and a per plot. Now in the Excel file that I will be sharing with you, I already explained what is each of these graphs, but basically they show the distribution of data across different categories. In this one, the profit distribution by product, we are seeing visually very quickly which are the products that have more profit and how they are distributed. Similarly, in the scatter plot or per plot, that is this one in the right, we are seeing the combination of relationships between different variables in the data set. Now, to the right, I have a heat map and a violin graph. Similarly to the codes above, I am importing first the library, then preparing the data, and then showcasing the actual um, graph. Now, one thing that I also want to show you is how easy it is to change any of this to customize it for your different needs. So in each one of the graphs, let's say that you want to change the title. So you would go to the sales analysis cell and in here you will see that I set the title of sales by country. But let's imagine that you want to do sales by country for BU1. You only need to type that between the brackets and then again control enter and then after all of these formulas are recalculated, then it will appear as the title of the graph. So as you can see, sales by country for business unit one. You could do that with every element of this code. And I will be sharing another video exactly on how to do that, on how to customize the Python code that I'm giving you in here. So what do you think? Tell me in the comments. And now, are you still here? Well, that's great because here is the best part. Now I'm going to show you how to integrate artificial intelligence into this workflow. So one of the main topics, especially for finance and business users, is that they don't know how to code in Python. So how to leverage these amazing visualizations and capabilities in Excel? Well, the answer is to use artificial intelligence and an LLM. Now, in here, what you need to do and to know is that you could run this Python code in another environment. So for example, in here, that I am also going to give you this file, I am running exactly the same code, but in Google Colab. That is like Google Docs, but for programming. Now, in order to generate this code, you could use an LLM, such as ChatGPT. And I will show you how I did it. So the first part is to show the LLM how your data looks like. Now in here, you do not need to showcase the actual data. You only need to show it the structure of your data set. It can be with a picture or it can be by typing the actual data as I did here. Then you are telling it that you want to load this data either into Google Colab, such as I did there, or into Excel, and it will give you the code to do it. Now in here, I rewrote the code a little bit just to make it work exactly with the file structure that I had there. So I tell it that I wanted it to use with this code. And now I ask it to generate me different graphs depending on the data that I had. So it suggested the KPIs at the top, the graphs, 
and the heat maps. So I tell it to give me the code to do first the metrics. So just like that, I got the code. Now here again, sometimes it tells me comments like load your data set in order if, if it's not there, but I already had it there. And one by one, I ask it to generate the code for each individual graph. And I was testing each one into Google Colab. Now, what I told you about customization of the different graphs, I will show you in the other video, but you could also tell ChatGPT to customize the graphs based on different palettes, different colors, different titles, and it will rewrite the code for you. And finally, what if you have an error? Well, you can also tell ChatGPT to that you had an error and that it needs to rewrite the code and then you can test it. Now, here is the bonus tip. You can also use the Python library PPTX in order to automate exporting these visuals into PowerPoint. You can get the code from ChatGPT and then after you run this code, you will be exporting the visuals directly into a PowerPoint presentation that you can then download from here and open it directly into PowerPoint. So I'm opening it right now and you will see how it looks like. And I have all my visuals. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more Python, Excel, and AI tutorials. And let me know in the comments what the first thing that you are going to build using Python in Excel. I will love your ideas. And remember, I will be showing all the Python code and the Excel file in the links below. Thank you.